you guys can make mistakes and grow and learn as you're supposed to as 18 year old men and it not be public knowledge. But you put a woman in there, suddenly Title IX's involved, suddenly there's investigations, just making sure she, she's a woman, she needs to be treated a certain way. We've decided that every, inclusion is the greatest thing in the world. And I, I've, I've spent a lot of time thinking about this. Exclusion is actually a good thing. If you say you get to go into an exclusive club, you're in an exclusive club. There's only a couple other people that have ever do, done that. Do you want to have an inclusive marriage? Should you have 35 people in your marriage? Is that a good thing? You want to have an exclusive <laughs> marriage with just you and your wife. You know, the football uh, locker room is an exclusive place where you know that you can tell jokes that you can't say out in the public that aren't going to be tweeted out. We were, we were not allowed to tweet anything. Twitter came around, I think, 2007, and so it was around during my existence. We weren't allowed to tweet anything that coaches said or that players said or that happened in the locker room. We couldn't take videos. Uh, Coach Pinkle always took everything. If we did, we got in big trouble for, for having even a video of something that happened in the locker room. You weren't allowed to do it. The idea was we have this exclusive insular place where it's your family that you can trust what's going on. And so you can say something borderline to your buddy that you know is not going to get out and is going to be all over the media. And you can make jokes you wouldn't make elsewhere. And you guys can make mistakes and grow and learn as you're supposed to as 18-year-old men and it not be public knowledge. But you put a woman in there, suddenly Title IX's involved, suddenly there's investigations, just making sure she, she's a woman, she needs to be treated a certain way. So it's no longer this exclusive club where you just got 18 to 22 year old men and you have coaches that went through this prior to it, know what 18 to 22 year old men act like, the things that they've been through and how to move them forward to become better men. That's what this was. Yeah.